2 Timothy 1 verses 8-9 Doctor King of Pain 2 Timothy 1 verses 8-9 8 Therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord or of me as prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel according to the power of God, 9 who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was granted to us in Christ Jesus from all eternity. When George Floyd died on May 25, 2020, violent protests broke out everywhere. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said that protest is the language unheard of, but from May 25, 2020, until even currently, violent protests have been a daily event. Very few protesters used peaceful means to express that change is a need. The protesters were reminded Dr. King was against riots, but they did not care. He was murdered, so there will be no peace until we get justice. A person who wants change for his or her children's children is not afraid to die. They want children of all gender, races, ethnicity, and sexual preference to be free at last. But true freedom is given to those who do God's will and not their own. Gandhi was not a Christian, but he protested peacefully. He went on a hunger strike, refusing to eat until his people of India gained freedom. The Empire of England did not want him to die because Gandhi was an inspiring leader for his people. Eventually Gandhi was murdered, but his people gained freedom. Dr. King was inspired by Gandhi and began his civil right movement with peace in his heart. Dr. King knew his movement was unacceptable, not only to the whites but to some young blacks from his era. So Dr. King was aware he would suffer and may die for his cause. But Dr. King wanted freedom at last for his children's children, so he was willing to die for them. The Apostle Paul knew he would suffer for doing the Lord's will. He went from being a Pharisee who did not believe Jesus was the Messiah to an influential Apostle for the Lord. So Paul became public enemy number one to Pharisees and later to the Empire of Rome. But Paul did not fear death because his eyes were on Jesus, who also was not afraid to die to benefit God's children and their children. Jesus Christ was sent by the Father to suffer and die so that the children of God could be free at last from the debt of sin. This is the gospel message written in John 3:16. but the sons and daughters of Satan don't want to believe the same. They will practice no peace until they get justice, but to God, that is perverted justice. It was a couple of years since the chance of no justice, no peace first started. What has it achieved? Many cities have defunded their police force, but crimes have increased. Criminals now practice random crimes in a free, at last manner because the law has less power. I am not concerned. I know peace cannot happen in this world, no matter how much justice is practiced. In the end, lawlessness will increase, and the Prince of Darkness will have more followers than the Prince of Peace. So my goal is to tell the children of God about the kingdom of heaven so that they may pass the gospel message to their children's children. Dear brothers and sisters, you are afraid to suffer a little or even a lot to gain everlasting life and the glory of God's heaven. If you are, then please do not live like demonic demons. God bless you all, Jesus Christ loves you, and so do I. His humble bondservant, Samuel Jerry Head. And I still believe that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the only hope of the world. I still believe that in standing up for the gospel of Jesus, nothing in the world is greater. This is the end of life. This is the end of the universe. The end of the universe is not to be happy. The end is not to avoid suffering, but the end of life is to do the will of God, come what may. 2 Timothy 4 verse 1 I solemnly exhort you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, to preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and exhort, with great patience and instruction. 3 For the time will come when they will not tolerate sound doctrine, but wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance with their own desires, for when they will turn their ears away from the truth and will turn aside to myths. 5 But as for you, use self-restraint in all things, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. 6 For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure has come. 7 I have fought the good fight, I have finished the course, I have kept the faith, 8 In the future there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing.